So I do love me some scuba doodles. So if we're figuring out our partial pressure calculations, if you're 1.4 or less, probably okay. 1.6 or more, seizure time. Not a good, oh, hang on just a second. Hello. Hey Lyle, it's Josh. Josh? Josh who? Yeah, no, from Everything Scuba. Oh, Josh, my diving buddy, long lost diving buddy. Uh, yeah, we miss you here at Everything Scuba, buddy. Yeah, it's been a while. Have you checked out the Critter Hunter YouTube channel today? Yeah, he challenged us. Yeah, check it out. You don't say. I'll, uh, I'll check it out. I'll call you back. Critter Hunter. So I'm going to have to send another one. And I want to challenge Everything Scuba. It's a YouTube channel. Everything Scuba, I'm challenging you to find and film two separate species of butterfly fish. Butterfly fish? I live here in Iowa, in the Midwest. I mean, Big Blue, our lake, has bluegill. Maybe I could catch a couple of those and paint them. And, yeah, let's see what you can find. And now, I think a trip to St. Croix is in order. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Everything Scuba. I'm Lyle. I left my cohort Josh in snowy cold Iowa this week. I'm sorry, Josh. Anyway, Everything Scuba. We are a YouTube channel dedicated to everything about scuba diving. So if you're a diver, want to be a better diver, want to learn about cool places to come diving, never been diving, but you're really intrigued and want to learn how, this is the channel to check out. So click that subscribe button ring the notification bell so you don't miss out on any upcoming episodes. So this is the Critter Hunter Challenge. I am currently on the island of St. Croix as our introduction showed you, one of the US Virgin Islands. Um, directly on the North Shore, you can probably hear the waves hitting the rocks of the North Shore behind me. And looking north, we can kind of make out the outline of St. John and St. Thomas. If you've ever seen Justin with Critter Hunter, if you haven't, link above to his channel he likes to talk to you from his pool sometimes so what better way to pay homage to justin and the critter hunter channel than to talk to you from my own pool here in st croix i thought it was just the right thing to do so the previous challenge he laid down was for james with divers ready and he asked james to go check out some bull sharks for him which that was a super cool video also link above um he asked us to look for butterfly fish. Okay, whatever the critter hunter wants, we will deliver. So, I don't know that much about butterfly fish, but I do know someone who knows a lot about butterfly fish. So, I'm going to hang out here in my pool, finish off my cold one, and I'm going to introduce you to my nine-year-old Chloe, who lives in Scotland. Chloe someday is going to be the world's greatest marine biologist and also probably someday is going to be one of the best female divers ever and she's almost at that age when she become a certified diver so i'm going to hang out here listen to what chloe has to say then we are going to dive various sites around st croix and find as many different species of butterfly fish that we can there are five different species of butterfly fish in the caribbean there are also about 127 different species of butterfly fish in 12 genera. Butterfly fish are less active at night and hunt in the day. The species butterfly fish feed on coral and sea anemones. 
Most species also have strong prominent spines on the front portions of their dorsal fins and are found among tropical reefs. So we began our search in the beautiful Cane Bay. I mean, there's like a bajillion fish there, right? We came upon this awesome looking spotted drum fish. How cool is that guy? And also, you can't visit Cane Bay without hanging out with a hawksbill turtle. But these are not the things we came to look for. We were on a mission. And pretty quick, we found our first target, a spot fin butterfly fish. The chase was on. But let me tell you folks, you can't chase down a butterfly fish. He'll outrun you every time. So, we gotta be stealthy about it. We continued our search through the cracks and crevices and sand shoots of Cane Bay until these two prime suspects rolled around the corner. Check them out. And here's my niece Chloe again to tell you all about these beautiful fish. The forehead butterfly fish is light gray and sometimes with a yellowish color. This species gets its name for the dark spot on the rear end, which could result to the predator thinking the back end is the front, putting the false eye closer to the predator than the head. Later that afternoon, we moved over to one of my favorite dive sites and one of the most colorful dive sites you'll ever come across, at the Frederickstead Pier. This huge sponge, which is on one of the columns, looks like it has veins. But actually, these are brittle stars just hanging out on it. And just like that, butterfly fish appear. The banded butterfly fish gets its name from the dark bands on its body. These help it to camouflage from its predators. A good way to identify it is its silver colour. It also has one black band over its eye, two wide black bands on its midbody, and one white band on the rear of the dorsal fin. So we hung around at the dive site to do a night dive with some fluoroscopic lamps, found this cool little octopus, and also got to check out some really cool anemones that glow in the dark under fluoroscopic lights. But also, check it out, butterfly fish, just hanging out in the darkness. They're a lot more subdued at night, a lot easier to photograph. Well, the next day we returned to Cane Bay. We knew we had more types of butterfly fish to find and a big old southern stingray just digging in the dirt. Close my eyes, take me for a ride. These guys eluded me yesterday, not today. The spot fin butterfly fish has a very silvery mid body and it also has a spot above its tail fin, which is where it gets its name from. Butterfly fish stay in groups unless they are a particularly territorial species. A solitary butterfly fish is usually travelling in search of a mate. They are one of the very few fish who find a mate and then hunt, live and travel together for life. This little dude was crazy hard to track down. But you know what? You can't hide from the critter hunter challenge. The long-nosed butterfly fish feeds on coral, tube worms and mysid shrimp. It is found in reefs with lots of coral and uses its long snout to poke between coral heads. Its extended snout is tipped with strong jaws that can be likened to a pair of needle nose pliers.
it's so easy to forget because you see so many butterfly fish when you dive just how beautiful they are and also how tough they are to get video and photographs of. But we had a blast doing this challenge. We want to thank Justin and the Critter Hunter channel. And we just want to say, given that we saw four different species, Critter Hunter Challenge completed. And Justin, we just want to leave you with this video footage that we shot as we were coming back out of Cane Bay. I know you haven't seen many of these guys uh, this year in the Philippines, but an awesome Caribbean reef octopus just kind of walking along the sand. Thanks for the challenge, buddy. See you next time. So, there you have it, guys back in my pool after a hard day of diving. I uh, want to thank my uh, niece Chloe for giving us the lowdown on butterfly fish and all of our inputs there. We have one final thing that we're going to do. We're going to return the challenge to the critter hunter. So Justin, my niece is going to tell you what we want you to do for us. So these are the types of butterfly fish that my uncle Lyle found at St. Croix in the Caribbean. So now we have a challenge for you, Justin. Yes, you, 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 Mr. Critter Hunter. Show us how many different species of butterfly fish you can find around your dive sites in the Philippines. With that, safe diving to y'all, and I'm gonna leave you with a view from my pool on the north side here of St. Croix. It's called a diver's paradise for a reason. If you've never been to St. Croix, come check it out. If you like what you saw, smash that like button down below. If you want to join us on every video, hit that subscribe button. And also, check out these cool diving videos below. We'll see you next time on Everything Scuba. Side mount's awesome. Just don't carry your stuff. Thank <laughs> you.